To find out the world's largest franchise, we're going to 1950, where the fast food landscape was ruled by the ice cream monarch Dairy Queen, who had an unbelievable secret weapon. No, not a mysterious dwarf who cooks better than Walter White, but the mind-blowing soft-serve ice cream, which, little did they know, would go on to sell 1,600 servings within its first two hours, and made Dairy Queen the first mega fast food store. Until, that is, our queen had to admit defeat to the king, who in the 60s challenged the queen's market share by building an empire, fueled by mouth-watering succulent chicken and a hyper-effective franchise model. The instructions for all franchises were simple, to execute the perfect blend of a secret recipe that the colonel personally hid in his wallet. Today, the original handwritten recipe is locked away in a high security vault with only a select few individuals allowed to see its content. If it wasn't for an even bigger player in town, this secret recipe would launch KFC to the top. But the one and only McDonald's body slammed the poultry king and the ice cream queen, with a brand that is now more recognizable around the globe than the Christian cross. In in fact, McDonald's reinvented the entire fast food industry by introducing the speedy service system, which made preparing food twice as fast. And they also offered something that no one else had before, Happy Meals. These guys were giving out free toys with every meal. There's only one company that could compete with something as genius as that, the true dominant force in the fast food industry who revolutionized the sandwich scene, stretching its influence like a foot-long sub from coast to coast of the USA by offering a fresh, healthier fast food alternative. You guessed it, Subway. These sandwich Picassos made customization cool, and their top secret sauces added a burst of flavor. But I bet you didn't know, they have even served enough sandwiches to wrap around the earth 14 times. Now let's drop the subs and pick up the coffee cups, because there's a new player in town storming from behind, and ready to try and claim Subway's throne whilst brewing up a caffeinated storm. Starbucks had a clever trick up its sleeve for becoming the go-to spot for coffee lovers and Wi-Fi hunters. By writing your name on the cup, often misspelt, it gave your Frappuccinos a personal touch and something to share on social media. With success, this new fast food giant quickly became one of our top three. However, it wouldn't be quite enough to take home the gold. So who's on top? It's Subway, followed by McDonald's with silver and Starbucks snagging the bronze.